is up guys it's ddiddy171 here playing some halo 4 on ragnarok it's uh it's one of these big maps that i think came from the first halo and uh it's a pretty enjoyable map but it's very very field friendly but you know what i want to talk about today is you know everybody knows that on the 20th of february which is two days after i recorded this video uh the ps4 is supposed to be announced by sony so I just, I mean, I want to say I'm an Xbox fanboy. I had been a fanboy since the original one because I just feel like it's a superior console. But, you know, I always have a soft spot for PlayStation. Uh, it was my first console I ever had, and it was amazing, though. But uh, after after uh, after the second generation when the PS2 came out, I wasn't really that impressed with the PS2. And I liked the Xbox because I think it had better multiplayer support at the time. And then the 360 came out, and uh, I just got that. I just played the living crap out of that thing. And also, I just believed it was a superior console to the PS3 at the time. So, um, I just want to know. I mean, I've been hearing a lot of rumors about this new PS4. It's, uh, I think, <clears throat> I think on this generation's console, the, the Xbox 360 wins hands down just because it sold more. And also, on the day of release, it was cheaper. You guys remember, it was like uh, $300, $400 for an Xbox 360. And yet, for a PS3, you had to pay around $700 for it, which was ridiculous at the time. But even though it was the cheapest Blu-ray player around during that time, around 2006. But Blu-ray wasn't really, hasn't been really adapted to yet. has been really accepted as a medium form yet. So that's why it was so expensive, man, I believe. The Xbox One hand, hands down because it used DVDs. Everybody used DVDs, and also it was, I believe, the, the discs were cheaper to make, and also just people were just uh, people were just really excited for a 360 because it was it was remember the first console of the previous generation to come out, and also the first console to have like full on multi multiplayer support at the time. So it's kind of amazing how what what has uh, gone on between 2005 and now 2013 we've seen better graphics and all that stuff and i just felt like you know do you really need new consoles honestly because look at this game look at this halo game it's like looks really really great like almost lifelike but then again what will the next generation give us so that's that's one of the things and also i want to address one rumor though about the PS4, and that's uh, one of the things that Sony, I did hear, is that Sony's primary focus is not improving the hardware, though. And I did, I do have a, I have a feeling that the one of the biggest things that they're going to unveil on the 20th for the PS4 is that it will have more move support because you guys remember, like, during this, ger this generation of console, consoles, the movement support movement uh movement gaming without controlless gaming i like to call it with like a, where you can detect your motion was really big you had the playstation move we had the wii which was really fantastic it was revolutionary at the time and then uh, microsoft came out with the connect which was it, it is not a standalone console it's kind of a mixed bag but i believe that it does have a future in gaming so I believe that they're going to try to improve on the PlayStation Move. Who knows? It might be more connect like now, be like full body motion control now, and that's going to be kind of weird because you know everybody likes to play you know the Call of Duty with the controller, but I still kind of find it funny. What would it be like to play maybe Halo or Call of Duty, these first person shooters, with motion control? What are you going to just like point at a gun, point a gun at the screen and? That'll be that'll be hilarious though, but it'll be kind of interesting to see if they actually try to do that. And I wonder if they'll actually catch on. Another thing that another uh, PlayStation rumor I did hear is that they might they the the six axis controller I and mean, the two button axis controller might be gone. It might be replaced by uh, another controller, which I think might be a bad idea. Everybody loves, I mean, the PlayStation controller was basically the gold standard how you do a controller. Two button analogs, two thumbsticks where you can move up and down and all that stuff. And it was basically a, a revolution at the time until maybe the, the Xbox 360 kick controller came out because it's more comfortable. But I just have a big, I just, uh, I think that'll be a bad idea on, on, uh, 
on Sony's part to do away with their two their two button access controller because it was revolutionary at the time. It's still present day. If they want to replace it with motion control in conjunction with the two button access control, it'll be fine, I believe. And another and another rumor I heard is that the the graphics will be lifelike. Almost, it's almost the uncanny real. Which I believe it, we are coming to that point where graphics are gonna be almost lifelike. And I thought they were lifelike on this generation console. Of, just take example of this Halo game, and also made on the PS4. I think one of the best looking games on that console was the was probably Heavy Rain and maybe the Uncharted series. But you know, the only thing is that maybe maybe dirt will be now lifelike now on these games or maybe you can see the, the you can see the water dripping down on rocks now which will be just wicked cool or also maybe also you can see like the water effects like, like let's see here like uh, on example if I was in the water you see the water splash into your face and that would be cool I think we will expect this on I expect that to be achieved maybe on this gener next generation consoles which are pretty, really, really, really cool. Oh, wow, wow, look at me destroy that madness. Ooh, that's cool. One other rumor I did hear is that they want to... I did hear that they want to they want to improve the controller, like completely change it, which I think would be a bad idea. The other rumor I did hear is that they want to improve on the six-axis controller, where, you know, you can move your controller around and all that stuff. I just feel like that they just need to ditch that idea where you can just move the controller around, because... On the PS3, not many games I I realized used the PS the PS3 mode six action controller. There was the disaster nose layer, which tried to I mean, the only way you can move the dragon is to move the controller, which was a complete disaster. Uh, the only and I think in Killzone 2 there was like a, the only way you can use the six action controller is to, is to uh, turn a little wheels which was like really really stupid the only the only uh, game that i saw use the six axis controller properly was heavy rain and that was kind of basic kind of like an action adventure game motion if your ps3 fanboys really will understand what i mean which i think heavy rain and the uncharted series was the best were the best games on the console at the time and the other thing i want to Another rumor I did hear is that the PlayStation will also charge like Xbox to use their service. And that's something I can completely, completely agree on that might be coming for your, play, your the PlayStation owners. Is that they will start charging for you maybe $60 a year for to use your online services. And I that's something that, you know, I don't agree with. But I kind of get it because you do have to upkeep. Man, it takes a lot of work to upkeep these ser servers, get get them uh, get them safe from hackers and all that stuff. If you look at like PC, it's like a wild west out there. There's no control over it except for the user itself. For the 360 and PS3, they all they uh, they use it on they uh, Sony and Microsoft. They both uh, they both control the servers and make sure they're safe hacker free and virus free so i do believe that sony will also that will start charging for their playstation network service and uh it might suck for you guys but you know what there's i mean we see the gaming corporation now they're trying they're they're probably will be uh charging more for stuff you know just like the previous generation when we went to three xbox xbox 360 uh things started charging more and people just bought into it and one other rumor is that I did hear that maybe for the PS4 is that game prices will increase to maybe seventy dollars instead of sixty dollars, and that's something that I can also agree, can believe is that you know games are they actually are they are uh, they're costing more to uh, to buy now and uh, and also produce because it requires a lot of work and all that stuff. I think on uh, this game alone, it took a long time, like two years of development. So, and also these game companies need to make a profit. So, who knows? Maybe to lower the cost, there might be in-game advertising. So, that's that's my thoughts on the on the new PlayStation announcement. Uh, you see some lag here. Uh, that's this is a kind of a bad game. And also, I do believe that they need to fix that. So, you guys. Um, 
please leave a comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll make another video after PlayStation is launched. So thank you.